What's up guys, welcome to another video. This video we're going to be taking a look at a really cool smart light kit. Now this is, you can basically say it's for Christmas, but you can use it for other things too. And this is called Twinkly, and we're going to take a look at this. There is a, a 105 LED kit, this is the starter kit, 105 LEDs. And again, this is smart, you control it with an app for Android or iOS, so very cool stuff. Uh, you can add this, of course, to your Christmas tree, which is what we're actually going to do and take a look at it. And then you can actually, you know, anywhere you want to put these, you can. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. Again, the smart Christmas decorations, or smart decoration, they call it, the Twinkly. Uh, and this also works with Twinkly add-ons. They do have add-on sets. You can extend this out a little bit more. If you don't want just 105, you can take it even further. And again, it is indoor-outdoor, so let's flip it over on the back. So you can see you've got um, select the layout of lights as per your arrangement. Uh, and you can open from a gallery full of beautiful and mesmerizing effects. Create your own effects. Uh, allows 56 LEDs or 119 LED twinkly add-on sets. This is built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, total length of this one, uh, lighted string length, says 44.3 feet or 34.4 feet. Uh, 105 RGB diffused lens addressable LEDs, three languages, and again, indoor and outdoor. Very cool stuff. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the boxes and what you get inside. A couple steps here, nice little uh, thing here. Get the app, place the lights, explore and create, spread your love, extend your creativity. Let's go ahead and open them. And here you go. The nice little LED lights. And we'll unravel those and connect them. And you also get some instructions. And of course, the wall ward adapter or whatever you're going to need to plug these in. Of course, this is the English version here. So, without further delay we're going to go ahead and download the app and set these up and come back and do a review of them lit up on the Christmas tree and see how they look and see what all kind of effects we can do with our twinkly lights be right back guys alright guys welcome back I gotta say this was not the easiest uh, setup that I've uh, tried uh, I could not get this to work on iOS period um, I could connect to the Wi-Fi that this puts out that's access point but uh, it would never see it in the app to configure it so uh, switch to Android uh, was able to finally see it after numerous attempts uh, through the app added it uh, and then had a problem with the uh, getting it to do a firmware update uh, but I figured out how to get it to join my home Wi-Fi and then it went out and finally got a firmware update and got it on the local home network and it seems to be working just fine now and I really like it so let's take a look at the app. As you can see here, it's twinkly. Um, so I'm just going ahead and show you. So I can apply an effect. So I'm just going to select this snow. Now you can edit the effects and change colors. So let's just make snow. Let's just make it white. And you can change the speed and we'll just apply the effect. And now you should be able to see the tree change, hopefully, into the snow. Hopefully, let's see here, let's let it apply again. There we go. So it's switching. And I don't know if that's supposed to be the snow effect, but I definitely got it to switch effects. Let's see if we can try it again. It doesn't really look like a snow effect. <clears throat> there we go, maybe that's doing it. Well, let's try something different. Let's go with the rainbow. We know this will work. Let's see if it'll change to a rainbow. Yeah, yeah so the rainbow worked. Um, so there you can see how it is. So I guess that was the snow effect. Here's a snake effect. So we can change that. Yeah, pretty cool. Make your tree do a lot of different things. Uh, bright twinkles. So we can change it to do some twinkling. And, and see, you know, this is really pretty cool once you get it set up and it's working. Uh, here's one called Collision. And sometimes it takes just a sec to get that 
pattern in there. And so those kind of go from top to bottom and bottom to top and they collide in the middle. Kind of neat. Now I did want to show you, you can do a static one. So if we come in here and we say new, and I'm just going to do a static effect, okay? You get a blank slate. So now I can say that little bulb, and then we can change it over here, change the colors. So now I'll do that bulb, that bulb, that bulb, that bulb. You can see the trees starting to light up. Change it to blue, stripe the bottom. And you know, and you got to set these up kind of like it is on this two dimensional display. As you can see, my bottom lights kind of stretch up to the middle. I have a smaller tree, that's why. Uh, this is really set up to be on a six foot tree, this is a four foot tree. Um, so this is kind of why you don't see the alignment quite like you would here. Um, but so if I do the top one, you can see my top ones are on the bottom. So um, just reverse it. You know, I just wanted to show you if it's not lining up, that is why I have a small tree. I had to wrap it around a couple times um, to get this to work. But you see, you can see here we're making pretty cool stuff. Put a few greens in here. I feel like Bob Ross, just a little, little this and a little that and pretty. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Yeah, let's do that. So anyway, as you can see, pretty darn cool. Um, and then you can come in here and just do all sorts of little things. You can take them off, make them blink. So see, I've got some blinking, some not. Um, let's make some more blink. There we go. And then you got your eraser, and you just basically erase your canvas like that. Look at that. See, we're erasing them. So quite customizable, pretty cool uh, stuff here. And again, you can just go back to the effects. Now, if you click here, there are more effects in the cloud. Let's see if we can get the cloud to actually, uh, let's see if we can download some effects. So there's a diagonal. Um, collision, vintage, 3D flag, 3D rainbow. Let's do the fountain. So let's go ahead and apply that effect. There we go. That's pretty cool. Here's glow. Let's apply that effect. There. That's really pretty. So you can see you can really customize the way your tree looks. Try something different every day. Uh, mix it up. There's a color fountain. Moving blend. Let's try that one. Let's see what we get here. Moving blend. Really cool. Anyway, guys, check the show notes. I'll have a link where you can pick Twinkly up. Um, like I said, the only problem I had was really the configuration, and I could not get it to work, like I said, on the iOS app. And I do have the latest version of the app I downloaded from the App Store. Um, I might go back now that I have this on the network and see if I can do it on iOS. And if I can, I'll put a comment in the show notes and maybe even a comment down below. Uh, saying my progress on it. But anyway, it's really a cool little thing once you get it up and set up and working. So you can see here, you can really make your tree stand out from all the rest and really enjoy it and have some festive fun with some different colors, patterns, twinkles, color chasing, collides, all that good stuff. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one. Thank you.